Hello, long time no see. What's up, Pixel Arm? So, I'm here on my favorite game since I returned to Roblox, Sword Burst Online. As you can see, I'm technically max level because the highest you can get on this, like the highest items you can get, is level 120. I'm currently using um poop items, council, and uh, this is what you get from I think the floor 8 boss. I mean, not boss, sorry, um, mob bosses. And the infernal, which is uh, floor nine mob bosses, mobs of the, from the bosses. This one, and uh, this one. So I'm here today, as you can see, I'm level 120. For to show you guys each floor's best um, well, grinding spots. Except of course floor one, this floor, uh, and all the shops. Let's say. So yeah, first things first. I want to show you guys the floor one place. So let's go to first. Well, there's actually no best farming place because you technically need a level and like requirement of damage for it. But these are the best I used when I was of that level. But if you could get like someone else to spot you like a higher level and you can just grind off them. All you have to do is hit them up like four times, do some damage and then run and then they can finish it off. And you can, get I'm not getting any XP from this boss, M mini boss. This one draws some misery that I'm trying to go for. So yeah. All right, guys. Welcome to floor five. Here, I will show you the best AFK farming spot that I well I used. All I did was go up there. Well, I could actually survive off these. So till I could survive off these, I farmed like right in the center. Like this guy is farming right here. If you can farm angry cactus right here, because if you you won't push you away, you are just on the back, and you can just keep on attacking it over here. Here. If you can AFK farm one angry cactus, they also drop the golden blade, which is pretty powerful. Other than that, you want to be just over here, about here, like in the center, just AFK farming this mob right here. This guy got pushed back, but see, it goes to him later. And then eventually I'll get to you, but it'll take longer to farm here. I suggest a uh, angry cactus. There we go, they're dead. And yeah, and the best, best farming is inside the dungeon I, I will just get there real quick if I could it takes a long time so every time in the dungeon you go in there there is a like a couple mobs on each hallway you want to collect all those mobs and you just want to kill each time you clear all like there's about should be about five six mobs every time you clear those mobs it should give you a thousand XP and running back and forth the dungeon you should be able to get at least 10,000 XP in one run and on the other run 20,000 in total on both runs combined and You can just keep on doing that, but it takes a while and you need to actually be able to hurt the mobs So yeah uh, I will explain these ones to you I know I haven't made a video because these aren't like really any good any use at all for farming They're just explainable floor one you just want to go through the basic first kill boards till like level three kill walls till level five six uh, I wouldn't suggest going to the boss yet. Uh, if you can kill the mini boss, then with some friends, kill that to level 10. 10, and then go to the boss and start killing that with and the mods there and stuff. And then the red bill grove, uh, just do the basic things, go through them, and then once you're level 25, you can actually go to the boss uh, with some friends, 25 to 30. After that, uh, this one, I'd say level 4. 35 to 40 this one is at really good till you get level 50 Cause you can just farm the crocodiles it's super quick and they give loads of xp this one is after that i've shown you guys today so yeah thank you all i will see you on the next floor peace out okay guys welcome to floor seven this is literally the best farming spot in the whole game Literally, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Yeah, it can't work. Literally for FK farming, as long as you can kill the jelly with of course. And the best like non AFK farming, that's the boss room. The boss room is pretty hard, but there's loads of players always there. So yeah, if you can kill the boss, that's the best part. If you do 2,000 damage and have a good amount of HP, you could easily like solo the boss, AFK solo. But yeah, when you just want to AFK 
farm or something farm the jelly wisp so like come up here and as you can see there are two jelly wisps that can follow you here uh try to get one of them stuck down here because two of them are pretty annoying so you just go here and then you just do that f6 and then you blah and then they die and then if you if they push you you can't they can't you can't go down this that's why you have to put your backs up against that point right there see you can't go down even if i'm trying to so this is literally the best place to farm the jelly whips are are like the lowest on this floor but they spawn every 35 seconds 85 xp that's why i said that ant is the best place to afk farm and this one is the best place to like non-afk farm in the game if you can do enough damage you could also try coming up here and attacking the jelly wisp if you can't survive against the jelly wisp it also works yeah and if you want to go to the boss room i the respawn time on each mob there is 30 and 35 seconds the lowest is 95 105 115 and 135 xp they each drop a weapon which is pretty good and the boss is two minutes and gets 425 xp which drops really good items such as arcane robes robe and if it depends on which one you like but i like the durandal which is also durandal which is also tradable and has a high demand in the game so let's see let's go up here there we go perfect right over here and then boom there we go and just keep on getting the jelly list like that so yeah floor seven is required if you wanna is my most um let's say recommended if you're not afk farming and floor nine would be my most recommended you'll see if you in the video if you're non afk farming sorry guys i'm recording downwards so like i may talk ahead but yeah floor nine as you'll see later in the video is the best for non afk farming all right guys we are on floor eight of blooming plateau this place isn't really a farming kind of place at least a afk farming kind of place if you go to spawn and then go straight to your right over here this side and then go up there you should find these mobs that drop a breeze a katana and a shield let me check if i have the shield for you guys to show here we are the holy knight shield that's from uh seven deadly sins i'm quite sure anyways the holy knight shield if you go up here you'll find a mob uh, I think they're I don't remember their name but there's also a mini boss called the hippogriff the hippogriff drops this and some katana I think yeah but the hippogriff is pretty hard to kill so I wouldn't suggest killing that but yeah you go there you just kill the mobs so you don't afk farm them unless you absolutely sure you can yeah and then the, the rhino would be the next place to move on and then the boss room with the boss mobs so yeah who why is willy in the trade with me what's up willy willy 851 are they really trying to flex the legendary on me or are they giving me it okay bro why are you trying to flex hey where's my other one two hand sword one hand sword armor katana armor why did I just put in a, that? There. You have one, I have four. <gasps> that would cost us robes. Oh, I don't want that. Never mind, they have better than me. Give me. <laughs> ah, they probably duped some items to get all those to plus 20. But yeah, here we are. Okay, I think you could farm down here no you can't but the sky ravens are pretty good to farm when you're actually online let's do that there we go come on there we go let's see i don't think you could find a good farming place here because you keep slipping off if you didn't slip off this you could probably get a good farming spot like right here the sky ravens do come up here the hippogriff spawns on top of the mountain right up there uh, i'm just gonna stop that from following me yeah there we go right up here 
and it drops the item I still told you about earlier. The Sky Raven would be a good place to farm over here, but they can easily get up. Let's see if the Hippogriff is off. On. Up. Okay, if I, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill this right now. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest trying to do this alone. Anyways, let's move on to floor 9. Alright guys, we're on floor 9. Finally, literally the game's still broken. It won't let me always TP with the last stable connection. On other games it allows it, but not on this game, which is like 4 off. Anyways, here we are going towards the end. If you don't know what an ent is, you really don't even need any to, You just need over like 400 damage to farm the ent. Because there's always loads of people there, as you can see, to AFK farm it. And it doesn't hit you as long as you don't get too close. That's the ent. There's people with 1000 damage, so if you can just like, skip through all the bosses, like someone can help you skip through all the bosses, and you just go like right here, and you turn on your auto clicker, you're good like you're actually good i found from here from level 60 something to level uh 87 or 88 i could farm longer but i just like yeah <laughs> so the ant here gives you about 165 xp it spawns every 25 seconds and has 150,000 health it can drop up to three items a rapier look i can i'm doing damage I think, I'm, yeah, there we go. I should be doing that. Well, I think it does little damage, but if you get on the, if you get on a place where it doesn't do damage, you're good. But if you're like OP, and you can take a little damage, anyways, yeah. Uh, it drops three items: a Slayer's Plate, a Shattered Throne, and an Oculus. Uh, let me check if I have any of those. Here's the Slayer's Plate, six thousand two hundred eighty-four defense clean level 78 requirement the shatter thorn i don't think i have that one but this is the oculus 904 damage level 80 rare clean 18 percent crit and the shatter thorn is that is something i do not have oh i do here we are 904 damage 11 percent crit level 80 rare so yeah this is like literally the best place to farm in afk farm in the game that i think literally in the game unless you you can farm on uh floor 11 because this like xp isn't as good as floor 11 xp the mobs if you can afk farm them but i prefer this one it's easier for me anyways i will see you guys on floor 10. okay guys welcome to floor 11 i mean sorry floor 10. Uh, i was on my way to the boss room and i fell off the parkour thing i'm like stuck right here i don't know if i can get up or something do I have to climb the wall? No, will you help me get up, buddy? Die. Anyway, so I'm just gonna tell you guys the best place to farm. Uh, there's like no really AFK farming spots here. But the best place to farm like when you're actually online would probably be the mini boss room. If you guys don't know how to get there, I'm gonna show you. But yeah over this way so let's just do the glitch real quick and then shift and then oh i failed <laughs> one mississippi two mississippi three mississippi four mississippi and five mississippi okay okay i still failed but whatever we'll just walk there like this anyways uh the best place to farm while you're on is probably the mini boss room i think you could get up somewhere over on the mountains and the minions could farm, follow you also if you guys have over 250k yen or bell go in here see those three platin shields are the ones you want i get a platin shield and a festive cape but i don't have festive cape yet that's why i can't but yeah you can get one of those shields it's pretty powerful all you gotta do up oh, right here 700 defense 12 percent health regen and 11 percent stamina regen there we go see this guy is going to the mini boss room so let's see i'm gonna go to the mini boss room first time in this server i literally just switched i have not been on this in the mini boss room yet 
Oh, I guess you could also farm like on the sides over here if they can't get up. I know you can get up on one of these sides. Yeah, you could farm up here. Like they could just fall when they spawn here, so you could just go like something like that. Or I don't know. I guess not. Stop following me. Stop following me. Stop following me. Stop following me. No. Stop. Right in here. No, 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 no. I might die. Okay. <gasps> oh, almost fell off there. Careful there, guys. As you guys can see, that's the mini boss, and there's always people here. So you guys could definitely take it down. Look at that. New server. Brand new server. And there's loads of people here like me. me. Make sure you check the players. If there's a lot of players, then yeah, or else yeah, I'll have to switch. And you could just farm here. And the best part is, it's also a pretty good mob spawn so you can everyone just goes for the mobs they lure the mobs you attack the mobs make sure you don't die on this section though and yeah you just farm here but there is like i don't think there is any actual good farming spot here for like xp afk farming that if you guys want to tell me that'd be great please post it in the comments but i don't think there's any on this floor oh there we go so yeah, I will see you guys on floor 11. Oh, that's the boss. Oh, I did. Okay, yeah. I'll see you guys on floor 11. Peace. Alright guys, so welcome to floor 11. So, when you spawn, you will know, you will have to go straight down and go down there. Until you get to this car. Of course, on floor 11, I suggest you doing at least 1,500 damage. See, you can hit. Well, I only do 1,304 because I'm using bad weapons at the moment. If I... I don't have the legendary from this floor. I have this weapon. You could also use this one and do 1,604 damage per second. But I prefer dual wielding for the speed to get down here and then use your best damage weapon. Anyways, once you get down here, you will want to go go around the truck, jump on this thing. So let me show you. Jump on this thing right over here and then jump onto the truck like that. And then once you're on the truck, this guy is killing everything. But uh, once you're close here, I wish they would come here and then just let me hit it, but yeah. So once you're here, I suggest using dual wielding because I'm quite sure that's what I use. I use a dual wielding weapon. So this one and I have low dual wielding weapons. I haven't gotten any others than that weapon from um, this floor. So yeah. Oh, here. Okay, yeah, I definitely need my other sword. Where's my other sword? This is a pain. <laughs> Equip left. See? You can do damage, but you gotta find the right spot. And then I suggest using two auto clickers and use the placement button. Place one here and place one here. This one every 100 milliseconds, this one every millisecond. I, I don't think that's illegal in like Sword Burst 2 or something. I'm quite sure it's allowed. But yeah. This is the best place to farm on floor 11 in map preference. And yeah, but I wouldn't suggest floor 11 unless you do over 1,600 damage because these mobs over here spawn every 32 seconds and they have 77,000 health. So uh, unless you do more than that, it'll take over a minute to kill each one. Of course, you'll have to kill, you'll kill multiple so you'll get, get more, but it's faster if you use them, better weapons. And these give 155 XP and about almost 150 velvet. So yeah. So yeah, you can just farm here when you want to hit endgame. I'm level 120, it's technically max as I told you earlier. So yeah, see ya and thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe and hit that like button if you did. It mean a lot. And yeah, thank you so much. Peace out.